Today we will play in Photoshop a little bit. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neyman and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you this really cool effect of inner glow or inside glow, however you want, of basically making your chest glowing and to see the silhouette of your ribs through your clothes. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, this is a photo that we will play with today and we will add a bunch of cool and interesting effects on top of it. So sit back, relax and enjoy this episode. As you can see, I have a lot of groups here and effects. I will go through that later. But for now, what I like to do, I like to show you how to make this really interesting a glowing chest effect actually like this model swallow the bright LED light and uh, the light is shining in his chest and the silhouette of the ribs can see behind the t-shirts etc. So basically for this effect what we'll need we will need some kind of photo of a ribs so you can find anything online some skeleton uh, ribs whatever just for a reference and what I did here I just used the pen tool and I traced everything around like this all the ribs so i will now delete it because because i already did that and i made a selection and fill it with the black so this is a selection that i made and i will use this to make a layer masks to layer mask to another image so i will copy this so this is the first step one more time if this was too fast so you need to find the photo of a ribs trace it trace the front part of the ribs not the back part and just fill it Made a, make a selection, fill it with the black. So this is it, this is really simple. Then I will go to this photo and paste it right here. And now we need to position this, but this is pretty cool positioning. Maybe I'll press Control or Command T and maybe just make it a bit bigger, something like, like this. And also if you don't know the real position of the ribs, go to Google and just Google human anatomy, ribs or chest and uh, you will see how the ribs needs to be positioned. The, this is the first rib right here and through this hole there is a clavicle bone that is connecting ribs with the shoulders and this is practically the position where this needs to be I think or something like that. It doesn't, it, it's not so crucial for this tutorial but it's something here. Okay so now what I will do with this, with this silhouette of the ribs, I will first make a group so I will click here or press Ctrl or Command G and I want to load this as a selection. So I will press Ctrl or Command key, click on it, load as a selection and create a mask on a group by clicking the mask icon. And now I will invert the mask because I want opposite. I don't want, I want everything to be uh, visible except actually the ribs. So press Ctrl or Command I and I will name this ribs. Okay. so. I don't need this anymore. I will put it here and hide it for now. So the point of this group is to create layers inside the group and to have the layer mask for each and every layer inside the group because otherwise you will uh, need to make layer the same layer mask for every single layer. So why to make stuff complicated when you can make it really simple. Okay, so now to make this really cool glowing effect this is so easy and so fun to do. What you need to do is to just have few layers in linear dodge blending mode and just play with your soft round brush. So this is how it, so how it goes. We have this layer, uh, actually group with a layer mask and one layer inside. I will put this layer into linear dodge blending mode. I will choose a color, so I will go with the red, okay? And I will go first with the dark red color, this is it. And I will just paint here with brush I want maybe 10% opacity like this and also I want to make sure that my brush is 0% hardness. I want to make a brush like this and now first I will show what the effect will do. If I paint here, let's go with 100% just to show you. If I paint here I will get this effect. So it's really cool. It's like there is some light behind the ribs and the ribs are uh, visible like a silhouette through this t-shirt. But this is obviously not as good as a fact as we will make it. So this is just for you to have in mind what we will do after. So now as you can see, we have this problem that our ribs are showing on the jacket. We don't want that, we only want to be visible on the t-shirt. So I will click on this group and group the group. So again, Control or Command G, so I can do that. And now I will create another group, actually another mask 
on this group and make this t-shirt. Okay, so here what I like to do, I like to use a pen tool or I can use just a pen, a little bit harder, 100% opacity and I just want to erase where actually I don't want this effect to be visible as you can see. So basically I will just make really nice mask on the jacket. I will actually use a pen tool and trace the jacket and fast forward this because I don't want you to waste time looking me doing this. Okay, now I'll press Control Enter to make to turn this into a selection and I will just fill it with the black. So press Alt or Option and Backspace and fill it with the black. So this is this part of uh, jacket. So I will do again the same for this part. And for this part, actually, I can use a brush. Why not? And I will fast forward this. Alright, guys, so this is it. And here I can see what I will do with this. I will leave it for now. I will not make a mask right here. So this is it. This is our starting position. So one more time, we have a group with a layer mask. This layer mask actually uh, controls or prevents uh, this ribs, ribs effect or however we want to be visible on the jacket. Then we have another group that actually prevents the light to be visible on the t-shirt in the hole. So we have the ribs as a silhouette. This is the ribs are actually the mask that the light will not come through. This is like a light blocker. And then we have some layers here. We will have more that will actually represent the light inside the chest. So basically I will now delete this. I will press control A or command A, just delete and start again. Okay, so what I will do here, I will use exactly the same color, so dark red color. 100% opacity linear dodge blending mode on this layer, but I will go with 10% opacity on the brush. And actually let's do opposite. Let's start with really bright colors. So something like this, let's start with the brightest tone. And I need really soft brush like that. And this is it. I will just press a few times. Like this will be the epicenter of the light. Then I will create a new layer again into linear dodge blending mode but this time i will go with a darker color so again the same just several clicks like that then i will go with the new layer again linear dodge blending mode but i will go with even darker color a little bit bigger brush and uh, here it is this is pretty cool so for now let's leave it like that i really like it this is not finished we need to tweak this a little bit but this is really cool and what we can do now we can play with this t-shirt layer so actually layer mask so we can with a 10% or so we can make this part less visible like the light is gradually uh, following off to the rib so here it's not hitting too much so this is pretty cool and I can leave it like this and now to have this effect a little bit more realistic and to have these ribs uh, to have the effect like the ribs are actually inside and they're a little bit blurred and inside a t-shirt we need to blur this and to lower the opacity a bit and the beauty of these uh, layer masks are that we can do everything here we don't need to use any kind of gaussian blur or whatever or opacity change we can do everything here on the ribs layer mask so double click on that and you will get the property dialog box and you can play with the feather so you can see with the feather we are making this more or less blur and with the density we will make more or less opaque which is beautiful now you can see this is really cool effect this is something that we are looking for to get in this tutorial so now it's up to you to see what kind of effect maybe you want something like this because maybe you have some kind of a sweater not a t-shirt that is less transparent so maybe you want something like that or maybe you want something like this whatever i will go with some 13 or 14 this looks cool maybe 13 pixels let's see. yeah and the density depends again on your choice so it's pretty pretty cool maybe you want like these ribs to be really dense and not uh, uh, the light will not, pa not pass through them. But I want a little bit bake like that. So the light will actually coming through the ribs a bit. So this is cool. 
All right, now you can play, you can add even more layers here, play with the colors. If this is not uh, what you want, maybe you want to add a little bit more orangey tone. Let me show you this, something like, like this. Again, put it in linear dodge blending mode and just add a little bit of, see, orange color inside. This is pretty cool. So what you can do even more, you can go here and add hue and saturation adjustment layer, go outside the ribs group, clip it to affect only ribs like this. And now you can play with the colors. So maybe you want something like green, blue or whatever, and you can lower the saturation or make it brighter or darker. It's, you know, it's the, the, the limitation is your imagination. So however you want, you can do it. So I don't want this. I will just leave it here for now, but I don't want this. And uh, this is it. This is this effect. But I wanted to make this photo a little bit more interesting, a little bit more dynamic and more fun. So I will show you what I did. I, I turned this photo into the photo that you saw in the intro and the thumbnail. So I will show you really quickly. I will go through that because all the techniques that I did for that, I already explained in a lot of separate for tutorials for every single effect there. And I will link all the effects on uh, here on the upper uh, right corner and down there in the description. So basically this is it. Then I extracted this guy out of the background. So let's go to the model right here. Okay, and I did this and I changed the background. I went right here and choose this photo. Okay, choose this photo. And this looks pretty good, but because the original background was blurred, I want to blur this photo too. So I turned this background layer into a smart object. So just right click and convert to smart object. And then I applied blur gallery. I will show you filter, blur gallery and tilt shift effect that I actually did in my tutorial of that guy sitting on the throne of toilet paper. You can watch it on the link right there or go down there in the description and search it. So this is exactly the same effect. I apply it here. So I just blur the background. Okay. Then what I did, I wanted to emphasize the blue from this side and the reddish magenta tint on this side. So basically I, I just add a little bit contrast. So I basically added blue and magenta on the, this gradient masks and brightened this a little bit. So this is it, as you can see, I just brightened this a little bit and this is it with the background. Also, I added some lighting lighting effect on the background. I have a tutorial on that, how to add and how to make your own lightning, a lightning. So basically I created this with my custom made lightning brush. It's here. So I have several of them. Of course you can make them bigger and play with this. So this is, this is really cool. And if you want, you can purchase those brushes on my website. Uh, you have the links down there in the description so, too. So everything that you need about information about this tutorial, check out down there in the description. Okay, so now let's go back to this brush. Then what I did after those adding those lightings, lightnings, I finished with the background. Now we need to match the color of this guy with the background. Again, there are several different ways how you can do it. I will again link you can see it here or down there in the description. One of the methods how you can how you can do that. I choose color balance adjustment layer, as you can see. So I play with this, and then I add some dodge and burn, and also a little bit contrast, and then I paint some light on the model. So here it is. This is before. This is after I paint the light, like the light is coming from these sources. And again, I have a full tutorial on how to paint the light on the model on the link right there or down there in the description. All right, so this is basically it. And uh, I will collapse these groups and then I added these eyes. I added exactly the same way how I added the light behind the ribs. So let me show you that really quickly. First, what I did, I added white color, just simple white color on the normal layer. Then I created another layer and add even more because I didn't need to do that. I could do everything on one layer, but I just experimented. Then I put another layer in a linear dodge blending mode and play with that red color. So another one, another one, and this is it. So just three layers, linear dodge blending mode, play with the red color, just soft light, soft brush, round brush, exactly like the ribs effect that we did earlier. 
and th these are the eyes and now we have the veins <laughs> this is it this is really cool effect i really love it and i have a full tutorial on how to add these veins and even animate them in photoshop check them out on the link right there or down there in the description and this is this is our final photo so here what i like to do i like to merge everything together with shift control shift control alt or shift command option e on a mac and go to filter camera filter and just do a final color grading here nothing special but you will see i like to add a little bit more contrast open the shadows a bunch and i want to add some clarity and some textures because i think it's really good for this photo lower the saturation a bit and just add a little bit of vibrance and also i can a little bit of flags and highlights okay and then I want to go to calibration tab and just play with these colors just to go to, to orange and teal look a little bit then I will go to split toning and add this teal color on the darks dark part on the, of the image then I will go to HSL go to saturation and just desaturate blues but not like this just a little bit something like that it's personal choice right and then what we can do we can sharpen this a little bit like i did in every single of my tutorials so i'm holding alt or option key to be able to see the mask everything that is white will be sharpened everything that is black will not be sharpened so this is it and that's basically that's basically it i can go and add a little bit of the brightness here on this guy so this is pretty cool and let me show you before and after i really like it i'll press ok and here we have it we went from let me see where is our not the background model photo this is it so we went from this to this really cool effect actually a lot of cool effects but the point of this tutorial is how to add this this effect of glowing ribs you can put some butterflies inside as a silhouette or whatever it's exactly the same just add a butterfly on the layer mask and make it blur or whatever this is just as this is a simple effect is pretty nice and punchy so basically guys this is it for this episode i really hope that you like it and that you learn something really cool nice and interesting from this one if you want to learn all other effects that I did today, that I applied to this image, go check out the links down there in the description or the info button on the top right corner and uh, enjoy those tutorials too. They are pretty cool and you will learn a lot of things just by following those tutorials. Now it's up to you to practice, exp experiment, have fun and make something really cool and interesting with your own photos. Also, you can download uh, the, the tutorial files and try to recreate it by yourself. And for all my Patreon subscribers, you can download this PSD file completed that I made today on the Patreon, so check it out. Right, guys, this is it. In case you like this uh, tutorial, appreciate this content, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already, and also ring that bell to get notified to all the future content. If you have any question regarding to this episode, just leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye.